Hi there. Thank you for watching this clip on how to find a derivative of this complicated expression. Let's get started. First thing we need to do is change log base 2 because it's derivative of log base 2 is difficult to find. Log base 2 can be changed into natural log of 3 minus 2x on top and natural log of base 2. So basically log of base 2, let's say it's 5. It's equal to natural log of 5, natural log of 2. So basically, you divide the top, stay on top, bottom divided by, stay on the bottom, and the base is changed, because that's how we change base. Once we change the base, the reason we change it into natural log is, of course, derivative of natural log, it's very easy, it's 1 over x, and we want to keep that. From here, we're going to use derivative um, for the product. Basically, I have this times that. So derivative for the product is the derivative of the first one, which is 2x, and you leave the second one alone. Since the second one is really equal to this, instead of writing this two forms that's dividing, I'm just going to leave the first one. Add it with, I'm going to leave the first one alone, which is x squared. Now I'm going to use this term times derivative of the second one. Now, this one doesn't change, it's just a coefficient. Derivative of the natural log on top is 1 over 3 minus 2x. And then you have to use chain rule one more time because minus 2x derivative is minus 2. Okay. Now let's combine this one, so I have 2x log base 2 of 3 minus 2x. This does not change. Plus, let's see what do we have here. I have a minus 2x squared natural log of 2 and then times 1 over 3 minus 2x. That's not too bad. It's not pretty, but it's not too bad. All right, that's how we solve this type of problem. Hope it's clear. Please leave a comment on YouTube and let me know if it's helpful to you. Hi, this is Dr. Pan recording from Tucson, Arizona. For more math answers, please subscribe to my channel. Until next time, have a confident day.